Somebody is home. They're an animal that possesses great spiritual power not to be meddled with. Orange County Sheriff's Office. We need SO to respond for a dead person at SeaWorld. A whale has eaten one of the trainers. Tilikum, though, is the one that went after her. Don is the senior trainer here at Shamu Stadium. She captured what it means to be a SeaWorld trainer, that it made me realize what happened to her really could have happened to anyone. I've been expecting somebody to be killed by a Tilikum. We weren't told much about it, other than it was trainer error. It didn't just happen. It's not a singular event. You have to go back to understand this. The speedboat herded them in, and they could just pick out the young ones. This is the worst thing that I've ever done. When Tilikum arrived at SeaWorld, he was twice as large as the next animal. We stored these whales in what we call a module, which was 20 feet across and 30 feet deep, and the lights were all turned out. Probably led to what I think is a psychosis. in captivity are all psychologically traumatized. It's not just Tilikum. If you were in a bathtub for 25 years, don't you think you'd get a little psychotic? Don would tell you that it was her mistake. They blamed her. It's just a bold-faced lie. I was just instructed to get rid of the day. The industry has a vested interest in spinning these. That sells a lot of Shamu dolls. It sells a lot of tickets at the gate. There's no record of an orca doing any harm in the wild. I just do not recognize the world that they portray in the movie. The interview, for my part, there were three hours of interview footage, and almost everything with any particular weight to it that I said was not included in the film. What, what really upset me was this idea that SeaWorld's deceived its trainers and the public, um, because that couldn't be further from the truth. That is it, uh, completely foreign to me. Nobody cares about those animals more than the people that are boots on the ground there with them. Uh, there, there's no doubt in my mind about that. There's no evil empire. I am not an evil Darth Vader minion, you know? I have a heart too, and I would not have worked the career that I did and come to work every day that I did if I felt that these animals were ever tre treated like anything other than royalty. don't even need to know about the issue to understand that this movie has a singular agenda. It represents a, one person or one organization's opinion. I think the only thing that I could say to the public is you got to form your own opinions. You can't base your opinions on a one-sided issue. You know, a documentary is supposed to show multiple sides to any issue, and they're only showing one side. You know, you have to do your research. You really got to, you know, read up on what we do. I think if anybody came here and saw how we interact with the wells and see how the wells are treated, uh, they would realize that these guys live fun and stimulating lives. And, uh, you know, don't base your, your knowledge or your ideas on just one side.
12 year old took it upon herself to hop the barricade at the Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York to protest in front of SeaWorld's float. Protesters lined up near the entrance of SeaWorld today demanding it be closed. Tons of people here who have been fired up by this movie Blackfish. Well, ever since the release of the documentary film Blackfish, SeaWorld has taken a beating and now their CEO has resigned. And he says it's not as a result of that, but a lot of people think that it is because of the Blackfish film that SeaWorld has really taken a dive. They've, they've tanked, as it were. Their, their stocks are down, their attendance is down, mm -hmm. their income is down, their reputation has been you know, really hurt by this and they don't know if it can recover. So the CEO is stepping down and uh, they plan on also taking efforts to cut $50 million of annual costs, meaning firing and laying off a whole bunch of people from, uh, to try to recover from wow. this downturn in their business. And this is the uh, impact that a documentary film can have on, you know, you know, as an activist film can have on something. You know, we saw this happen with uh, uh, Super Size Me and McDonald's, where they actually had to change their policies because of a documentary film. And now we have this uh, significant, significant uh, effect on SeaWorld. Blackfish director Gabriella Capperthwaite. Gabriella, you spent two years working on this movie, which is in theaters right now and has Americans taking a new look at whales at SeaWorld and other theme parks. What's the bottom line message of your movie? You know, I think SeaWorld controlled the message for 40 years. They've been around for 40 years, and they really are the message about killer whales. We all believe in this happy Shamu iconic image. And, you know, uh, our film looks at the stuff that SeaWorld doesn't want you to know. So for 80 minutes, we're showing you the things they've fought very hard to keep under wraps. And I think it's important that we all know the truth.